Hey, grade 10 students, I am now here at our science laboratory. Are you excited to do the experiments? I can't hear you. Okay, I can see and I can hear that you are all excited to do the experiments. So, let us begin the setup number one. Let us now begin with our experiment. Step number one. Prepare three beakers or if you don't have beakers at home, you can use dippers or any glass that have the same size. Beaker letter A is for tap water, beaker letter B is for hot water, and beaker letter C is for cold water. Step number two. Inflate the three balloons. I've already inflated the balloon. You can use your mouth or you can use a pump to inflate the balloons. Step number three. Measure the circumference of the balloon using a tape measure. Use the centimeter unit. So for balloon number one, we have 23 centimeter. Record it on the table that I provided you. 23 centimeters. Okay, so this balloon will be used in the top of water. Next, measure balloon number 2. So, balloon number 2 measures 22 centimeters. Record it on the top or on the warm water. And our last balloon measures 23 centimeters. Okay, so measure, uh, put it on the table or the column near the ice water. Step number four, measure the temperature readings of the water in the three beakers. So we have here for the first beaker, place or put the thermometer on it. You can use glass thermometers at home or you can also use um, infrared or digital thermometers. We just have to wait one minute to get the accurate measurement of the temperature. The temperature reading at the first beaker which contains top water is 31 degrees Celsius. So we need to write it on the table that I provided you. So top water is 31 degrees Celsius. Okay. For beaker number B, which contains hot water, con uh, measures 51 degrees Celsius. And for beaker letter C, which contains cold water, we have 10 degrees Celsius. Step number 5. Place the balloons on top of each beaker. Step number six. Next, we have to wait for two minutes and record again the temperature in each beaker. So what do you think will happen after two minutes? Observe carefully. Write in detail your observation on a scratch paper first and then finalize it after our experiment. So we have to wait for two minutes and then we'll measure again the temperature in each beaker and record it on the table that I have given to you. are the set up. So what is happening in our set up? What is happening in our temperature?
Do you now have formed your prediction? Okay, we have 30 seconds left before we measure again the temperature reading for the for each beakers beaker rather. Okay, two minutes have passed. Let us now measure again the temperature in each beaker. So for beaker letter A, which contains top water, we have still 31 degrees Celsius. So we'll write it down on our table. For beaker letter B, which contains hot water, we now have 49 degrees Celsius. And for beaker letter C, which contains cold water, we now have 11 degrees Celsius. And record it on our table. Step number seven. So we will wait again for another two minutes and record the temperature for each beaker again. So let's set another timer. So we have two minutes. Start. So what happened with our um, temperature in each beaker? Did it increase or did it decrease? So write down your observations. Okay, time is up. Let us record again the temperature in each beaker. Okay? So for beaker, letter A, which contains top water, we still have 31 degrees Celsius. Nothing has changed. Next, for beaker, letter B, the temperature went down to 48 degrees Celsius. And for beaker, letter C, which contains iced water okay so we have 12 degrees celsius step number eight okay this is our last part of observation we will use another two minutes to wait for the another measurement of temperature in each beaker so let's set up another time So again, two minutes. So, so far, what are you or what observations have you made? What predictions have you made from this experiment? Do you think is it, uh, it is related to our lesson for today? What inferences can you make from these observations? Okay, the timer has ended. So let's see the final temperature recording for each beaker. So for beaker letter A, which contains tap water, the final reading on the thermometer is still 31 degrees Celsius. So we will put it down on our table. For beaker letter B, which contains hot water, we have 47 degrees Celsius. And finally, for our beaker letter C, which contains top water, we have 13 degrees Celsius. So now, compute for the average temperature on each beaker. And finally, step number nine. Now, we will measure the new circumference of our balloons. Do you think it will change? 
Okay, let us get the tape measure to measure the circumference of each balloon. Okay, so we have balloon letter A which is placed on top water. So its circumference is, uh, before our experiment, is 23 centimeters. Now, it hasn't changed. Okay, so the circumference is still 23 centimeters. Now, for balloon letter B, which is placed on hot water, its previous measurement is 22 centimeters. Now, its new measurement is 24 centimeters. And finally, for the balloon placed on iced or cold water, its initial measurement is 23 centimeters. Now, its new measurement is 22 centimeters. So, compute for the difference of the before or the first uh, measurement of the circumference in each balloon and the after or the second measurement of the circumference in each balloon and record it on your table.